Hi, welcome to Movie Recap TV. Today, I'll explain an action science fiction film from 2019 titled Alita Battle Angel. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In 2563, planet Earth has survived a war known as the Fall. There is a city floating above the Earth in the sky called Zalem, suspended by advanced engineering. Beneath this is a city called Iron City. There is a tube from Iron City's factory connected to Zalem. In the junkyard, Dr. Dyson Edo discovers a core of a female cyborg that has brain and core heart, but without body nor limbs. Together with a nurse assistant, Edo rebuilds the cyborg with a spare robotic body in his cyborg clinic. She wakes up with no recollection of any memories. Edo names her Alita as she didn't know her own name. He finds out that the new cyborg body integrates well with Alita's original brain as she can control her fingers. Her sensory taste is also proven working when she likes orange fruit when she tried it for the first time. It turns out the name of Ido's deceased daughter was Alita. The robotic body was initially built for Ido's late daughter, real Alita, because she was wheelchair bound. Real Alita never had a chance to use it as she was killed by a cyber robber who broke into Ido's clinic looking for drugs. Ido's partner was Shirin, who is also real Alita's mother. Ido and Shirin separated after the real Alita died. Shirin and Ido came from Zalem and were outcasted to come to Iron City. Shirin's goal after the death of her daughter is to go back to Zalem. Shirin works for Vector as he promises to send her back to Zalem. Vector is the boss who manages the Iron City motorball competition. He has the authority from Zalem scientist Nova to send people to Zalem. The winner of the motorball competition gets to be sent up to Zalem by Vector. Alita befriends a boy named Hugo who dreams of moving to the city of Zalem as well. He also shows her that he wanted to be a hunter-warrior like Zappan, a bounty hunter-warrior with a long sword as his trademark weapon. Hunter-warrior collects money by killing criminals in Iron City. Hugo also introduces Alita to the motorball race in the neighborhood. Alita tries to participate, falls down, and is made fun of in the beginning. After a few times, her natural competitive streak shows up and she is able to defeat everyone to score a motorball goal. Alita discovers that Ido is a hunter-warrior when she follows him one night and they encounter three deadly cyborgs. When Ido is injured, Alita tries to protect him and finds out that she is naturally skilled in an ancient martial art called Panzer Kunst. While in combat, Alita has flashbacks of her earlier life on Mars. She used to be a warrior with code 99. With her skill, she kills two of the cyborgs and severely damages the third one, called Gruishka, who retreats underground. Gruishka promises to come back and hunt down Alita. Despite Alita's fighting skills, Ido discourages her from becoming a hunter warrior. Once Vector and Shirin find out Alita's capability, they get an order from Nova to kill Alita. Nova promises Shirin that she can go back to Zalem if she succeeds in the mission. It turns out Gurishka works for Vector and Shirin. Vector orders Hugo and his friends to attack cyborgs and steal their body parts for fixing and upgrading Gurishka. Vector promises to send Hugo to Zalem once he gets enough credit to doing his dirty work. On the next day, Hugo and his friends brought Alira to a forest area outside the city. Here, they found an old abandoned spaceship from the Fall era. Alita went into the spacecraft through an underwater door and brought back a berserker warrior cyborg body with her. Ido refuses to install her in the body, as he wants Alita to have a second chance in life without being a warrior. Alita is disappointed and rebels by registering herself as a hunter warrior. Alita and Hugo go to the Kansas bar to ask other hunter warriors to help her take down Gurishka. They refuse to help as Gurishka is not 
in the wanted list and there is no benefit of bounty in killing him. Zapan tries to intimidate an Embarasa leader, but a leader easily beats him in a fight and is humiliated in the process. Afterward, a leader challenges all the other hunter warriors and creates a massive battle in the bar. Joe comes in time to stop the fight as an upgraded Gruishka storms into the bar and challenges a leader to a rematch. Despite her courage and martial arts skills, a leader's body is sliced up by Gurishka's bladed fingers before Edo and another hunter warrior force him to retreat again. Without any other options, Edo places a leader in the berserker body, which automatically integrates with her. Vector realizes that he is not able to defeat a leader easily. He arranges for a motor ball match where all the participants are instructed to kill a leader for a significant amount of credit. At the same time, he urges Hugo to enter a leader into the motorball competition. When a leader wins, both Hugo and a leader can go to Zalem. With her new body, a leader has higher power and enhanced flexibility. She enters her name in the motorball tryout race, as per Hugo's request. Ido discovers that the other contestants are hunter warriors and other cyborgs hired by Vector to kill her. Meanwhile, Zappan is plotting his revenge against Hugo and Alida. Zappan caught Hugo and his friend Tanji while they were stealing cyborg parts. Zappan kills Tanji and frames Hugo for murdering the cyborg they were taking parts from. Now Hugo has a bounty on his head and all hunter warriors are looking for him. While Alida is in the motorball race, Hugo is trying to escape from Zappan. Hugo calls the leader and tells her to meet him at the abandoned church. After a leader eliminates the other contestants, she heads to the church to confront Zappan and learn the truth about Hugo's work before Zappan mortally wounds him. Sharon was at the church, supposed to kill a leader, but instead she saves Hugo's life by having him decapitated and uses Alita's heart to keep his brain alive. This angers Zappan, but Alita grabs his Damascus blade, sword, and slices off his face. Hugo's head is transplanted onto a cyborg body by Edo. He also tells Alita that Hugo's belief of going to Zalem for one million credits was a lie fabricated by Vector, as citizens of Iron City will never be able to enter Zalem. A leader storms through the factory to confront Vector. Vector reveals that Shirin has been murdered and her organs and body parts will be sent to Zalem. This is the only way citizens of Iron City get to go to Zalem. A leader once again battles Gurishka in Vector's office and kills him before stabbing Vector, who has been mentally controlled by Zalem scientist Nova. A leader promises Nova to get revenge for Hugo, and he made the mistake of underestimating her. In the meantime, Hugo has run away from the clinic. With his new cyborg body, he attempts to climb a factory tube towards Zalem. A leader pleads with Hugo to return with her, as a massive spike ring sent by Nova comes hurtling down the tube, shredding Hugo's body. A leader manages to grab Hugo's remaining arm and use a sword to secure hold onto the tube. Hugo's elbow joints cannot support him and breaks apart, but not before he can say goodbye, leaving Alita on the tube clutching the remaining of his arm. Alita is devastated but determined to live on Hugo's memory. In the final scene, Alita is shown as the star athlete of the motorball tournament. The crowd cheers for her as she points her sword towards Zalem while Nova watches her from above. Be keen to subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching.